What we're going to take a look at now is we're going to take a look at this uh, top level assembly of the dishwasher unit. And I'm going to turn the visibility of some different pieces of sketch geometry on within this assembly. What we want to take a look at or what we want to show you are some of the capabilities of using Autodesk's inventor's frame generator. The frame generator allows us to very easily and very quickly generate different framed, static framed components within our assemblies, allowing us to build these components on the fly from a list of thousands of different profiles. So we don't just have uh, an average list of components as maybe SolidWorks does uh, or have to generate each one of our profiles, but rather most all the profiles that we're going to need or have or need to have access to are going to be inside of our frame generator natively. We're going to be able to select different sketch geometry within our assembly on the fly and get a nice heads up preview of how these components are going to be built or laid out within our assembly so that we can ensure that they have the right rotation, um, they're set up in the right direction. If we're not happy with it, we can go in here and make modifications by selecting different points on the profile, changing angles and different, um, and forming Inventor to build this up differently than, than maybe is uh, laid out by default. We can also ensure that this, this geometry is being built up just by taking a look over here at the back view of, of this dishwasher unit to, to ensure that the assembly is being built up as we want it. Now, as we continue to work with, with these frame members, we're not going to stop there. We're not going to stop um, just by laying out different component members um, and having the, the cut lengths built automatically for us, but rather we're going to go in here and actually miter off this geometry to more accurately represent the components. What we see is what we get. We're going to experience these components before they're real. We're not going to have to generate physical prototypes of this geometry. We're going to have all the cut lists and information related to these different frame members automatically built for us by Inventor because we've built this com these components digitally rather than having to build these things or build physical prototypes of these models. So we'll go ahead and continue mitering off the remaining pieces of geometry so that we have an accurate digital representation of this model. But we didn't have to sit down and build each one of these components manually. Rather, we selected the sketch profiles and it built this geometry for us. Now, one of the things that I just can't stress enough is the frame generator within Autodesk Inventor is not only easy to use and gives us thousands of more profiles against uh, our competition, we, we have the, the most profiles of anyone, any CAD tool on the market today. But it also gives us the flexibility as it's building these different sub-assemblies for us. It's not, it's not building a single multi-body component. Now we have the capabilities within Autodesk Inventor to work with multi-body components. And there may be specific situations that those are very helpful and useful for, but this is not one of them. Autodesk's Inventor's Frame Generator will build up these components and build up individual parts and sub-assemblies of these different frame members that are built. The benefit of that is when we go to create drawings of these different frame members, we, this is going to allow us to generate individual views of each individual component that we built. Whereas if we were working inside of SolidWorks, we'd have to manually go in there, in, work inside of our multi-body component, and generate an overall view of the multi-body. It's going to make it very, very difficult for us to be able to gain individual drawing views of individual framed components. It's almost impossible to do this. And so Autodesk Inventor, again, is making it easier for us to be able to work with assemblies in this manner and lay these these drawing details out much, much easier than any competitive product on the market today.